Clipper City, Tunnel Town, Paradise City. So many nicknames, so little time. Apparently, you are nowhere without a nickname in the Bay State. Well, the time has come to reveal the municipalities behind the monikers. So, how many did you get? First up, Carriage Town, with mills powered by the Pow Wow River, Amesbury rode to the lead in the nation's carriage industry. For a small town, the number of shops that were involved in making carriages, say per capita, was probably higher than any other place in the country. Out on Route 2, the Pioneer Plastic City sign may have been replaced, but the city of Lemonster is still home to plastics innovation led by Earthpac's biodegradable plastic products. We hope to put a billboard back up there someday, basically showing the world that we can make products that are convenient, single use, and know that this product, properly disposed, is going to go back to the earth that it came from. That's a proud moment. A bit farther down the road, Gardner, Chair City, where Would You Build It is injecting new energy into this old mill town's furniture making legacy. We're trying to revive that industry. Slowly but surely, uh, we will make this town uh, popular again for its uh, custom furniture. And where might one go to find the most toothsome tubular meat product on the planet? Welcome to Chicopee Mass, the kielbasa capital of the world. By the way, they're happy to share. Friggin' love kielbasa. This whole state loves kielbasa. The world loves kielbasa. The face of the earth loves kielbasa. To balance out your meal, head up to Hadley, the asparagus capital of the world. Just get there early. I'll tell you, the demand for asparagus, I put them out here on my roadside stand at about quarter seven in the morning. By 9.30 that morning, they're gone. Best to keep an eye on the time then. And if your timepiece is in need of attention, where better to take it than the last watchman in Watch City? Chris Carey's Watertown watching clock is, despite its name, in Waltham, the Watch City. It's tough being the last. I'm not saying I'm the last, I'm just saying that it's getting to be there. And finally, the Commonwealth's leather industry is making its last stand up in Peabody, also known as Leather City or Tanner City, home to the very last tannery in the state, Travel Leather. Leather working was a major deal here, yes, for many years, over three, 300 plus years. The leather industry, such a vital part of Peabody's history, there's even a museum here to honor its legacy, though Dick St. Pierre tells us it's temporarily closed due to the COVID crisis. Just to let you know, we welcome you to come when we reopen again after COVID-19 goes away, which I pray will happen anytime. So, Anyway, thank you. Mm, don't we all? There are plenty more nicknamed towns out there, so let us know if you enjoyed our little quiz tonight. We'd love an excuse to visit Whip City someday, or so it says right here. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle.